Well, I think in the circumstances that we have today, when we have an actual active war being fought in Europe, it is uh, more important than ever to have this kind of forums where people get together and uh, um, they can discuss the challenges and try to find solutions, not just treat events like this as an opportunity to talk or to network, uh, but to actually have a solution-oriented approach to these events. And I think that is what we see happening here so far. Today was a really important day for Germans to understand the dimension of what we call Zeitenwende. The end of an era and the beginning of a new era uh, opened up by the Russian war of aggression in Ukraine. This is why it is so crucially important to have journalists and other media related professionals to gather and understand their own responsibilities. And in the conclusion, I was reminded of the power of journalism, of, of the importance of a free press uh, as an essential component of democracy. Uh, I, today's been a fantastic day. Thank you for this very warm welcome. It's an honor to stand here and to address you. I'm here as a journalist, as the editor of the Kiev Independent, but most importantly, I'm here as a Ukrainian. You will hear that reports of Russian atrocities in Ukraine were fake, that those massacres were staged. I wish they were staged. My journalists went on the ground and talked to witnesses, including to those who lost their loved ones. And I can tell you that everything you read about Russian soldiers' crimes in Ukraine is real. This winter, Russia will try to break the unity of the West. It will use all kinds of blackmail and disinformation techniques to make the world believe that it's easier to give Ukraine up, that it's easier to sacrifice this one country and tame the beast. And the winner of this war will determine the future of the world, not of our world in Ukraine, but of your world everywhere. You may think that you are safe, but the fact is there is a very thin layer of normalcy that stands between your everyday life in Potsdam, Berlin, or Brussels, and the kind of reality that Ukrainians are living in right now. You are not untouchable for Russia. Russian missiles don't need visas. In this war, Ukraine has shown an example of remarkable resilience. I believe that the rest of Europe will find the strength to follow. Thank you. I've been for the first time here in Potsdam in 2008, right after the Russia invaded Georgia. And then after the Russia invaded Ukraine in 2014. And I also seen how slow uh, is the um, understanding by the many European editors what's going on. How hard for them sometimes to accept that the reality is different. So in 2015, when I was talking about the disinformation and fake news, it was still treated with a level of skepticism. So it takes time for the European editors to catch up. Maybe because it's hard to understand that the rules you are working uh, in the, the world which you live in and the principles are honestly broken and it's hard to admit this. So I think the attempt of the organizers to really bring people together and reshape this is actually important. During the pandemic we saw uh, there is a lack of uh, discussion, personal discussions and this is a forum where we can discuss personally and directly and uh, in the world of crisis, it's even more important to uh, be involved on a personal level and also to establish personal relationships. This uh, 
peaceful, uh, affluent Europe is ending right now. We cannot just live like it was like we used to. I think this conference is one of those grounds that allow us to talk over and to think over those, uh, those issues. I think it's more important than ever in these difficult times to uh, create platforms to discuss and debate these very, very urgent issues. So I think the M100 uh, forum is, is a wonderful platform where we're able to discuss and debate about how to find ways out of the crisis. Our workshop today was on uh, digital strategic autonomy. Strategic autonomy is a concept, a political concept that has come to dominate uh, the political debate in uh, Brussels. Uh, it affects a lot of sectors from security to economy and uh, online uh, digital uh, regulation. Uh, it's definitely a concept that will stay in the political debate for the foreseeable uh, future. Um, and um, I was very happy to be part of, of the working shop. So this year's M100 Sans Souci Colloquium deals with the issue of war and peace, which is quite obvious given the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And one of the working groups and the discussion groups uh, revolved around uh, the topic of Europe in a new world order, which I had the pleasure to moderate. In general, we talked about European uh, foreign policy and the prospects of it. Europe, relatively speaking to other great powers, is very well placed to promote itself as a promoter of democracy and human rights because of those same values that are very much uh, you know, universal still. The workshop was on misinformation and uh, the, the future actually of, of the media and uh, in that workshop most of the participants said misinformation is actually a secondary problem. The, the primary problem is to get to the information, to get real, verified, accurate information, to put journalists on the ground, to, to be able to report what's actually going on. Uh, so that is, is really the, the primary issue that most media is concerned about. Guten Abend. Ich komme aus der Ukraine. Es war wirklich auch für mich eine schwere Entscheidung erstmal it is actually important to understand that one of the strongest weapons in the world society is media. M100 is the collection of the most respected media around the world, as well as people that are present here. Sehr geehrter Wladimir Klitschko, sehr geehrter Herr Bundeskanzler Olaf Scholz, sehr geehrte Präsidentin der Republik Kosovo, liebe Frau Vyosa Osmani Sadriu, sehr geehrte Frau Botschafterin Amy Gottman, sehr geehrter Herr Ministerpräsident AD der Republik Polen, Herr Donald Tusk, meine sehr geehrten Damen und Herren, liebe Mitglieder des M100 Beirats. Schon die Länge der persönlichen Begrüßung der Honoratoren dieses Abends zeigt es, der M100 Media Award findet nicht nur in einer 
bewegenden Zeit statt. Er ist ein etablierter und hoch anerkannter Medienpreis geworden. Herzlich willkommen zur 18. Preisverleihung des M100 Media Award. Ich freue mich sehr, Sie hier in Potsdam in der Hauptstadt des Landes Brandenburg begrüßen zu dürfen. Was könnte das heute für ein schöner Abend sein? Ich erinnere mich gern an meinen letzten Besuch im Jahr 2020 hier in der Orangerie, in dem Potsdam so eigenen, außergewöhnlichen Ambiente, in dem sich ein hochkarätiges Publikum mit spannenden und wichtigen Fragen im Rahmen des M100 Sanssouci-Kolloquiums befasste. Der russische Angriffskrieg auf die Ukraine markiert eine Zeitenwende. Darum beschäftigt sich dieses 18. Sanssouci-Kolloquium mit den Fragen von Pressefreiheit, der Bedeutung der freien Presse und ihrer konstitutiven Rolle für unsere Demokratie vor einem gänzlich anderen Hintergrund und mit noch größerer Dringlichkeit als in den Jahren zuvor. Wenn Putin durch seinen grausamen Angriffskrieg seine imperialistischen Ziele erreicht, wird es keinen dauerhaften Frieden geben. Aus diesem Grund unterstützen wir das ukrainische Volk bei der Verteidigung seiner Freiheit und seiner Souveränität. Und ich will nicht, dass irgendwelche Leute wieder in Geschichtsbüchern Anlass finden für revisionistische Beschreibung. Der Frieden beruht darauf, dass die Grenzen unverrückbar sind. Das muss unser Einverständnis sein. The Ukrainian people are on the front lines of the battle for democracy. Russia's war of aggression in Ukraine is one of the many conflicts around the globe where our basic democratic freedoms are threatened. To defend democracy, three words, to defend democracy, that is the defining challenge of our time. All the arguments, moral, political, historical, and civilizational ones bid us to stand today on the side of Ukraine and its heroic defenders. This is a relatively small stage. It has gotten crowded, and it has gotten crowded, uh, Mayor Schubert, for good reason, because now is the time where we're actually handing over the much-deserved prize. And for that, of course, to receive this prize on behalf of the Ukrainian people, it's my great pleasure to welcome on stage Vladimir Klitschko. I'm confirming you mentioned that we are in Ukraine fighting against Russian aggression and defending our country and defending our democratic principles that we share. We're fighting not just for us, but I'm confirming we're fighting for everyone here and everyone in the so-called free world. We literally do it. 
the award given to the people of Ukraine is one of the most moving ceremonies I've witnessed to see the sacrifices and to see the effort and to see the conviction of what they're fighting for and why they're fighting expressed on stage was really beautiful to see. And then the conclusion tonight was very emotional to see the uh, people of Ukraine recognized with the M100 award, but to hear the Bundeskanzler, to, to hear Mr. Tusk, uh, to hear my ambassador, uh, and of course, uh, Vladimir Klitschko, um, it's, it's powerful. I've seen a long line of very worthy, very impressive individuals here up on stage in Potsdam receiving the prize. But I, I think I speak for many when I say that no winner was probably more deserving of the M100 Media Prize than the Ukrainian people as this year 